So thanks to Boost Auto Parts. Today, I have another fantastic little uh, tech upgrade for your older Tahoe, Suburban, Escalade, Yukon. You guys know the drill. All right, so I'm pretty excited about this product here. Um, you guys know we've worked with Boost Auto Parts on a few videos so far. Um, most popular has seemed to be my key fob video. But today, the product that they sent me is the thing that got me on their website to begin with, something that one of you guys actually recommended to me. Um, and that kind of uh, began my relationship with Boost Auto Parts and we started working together. So what I have in here is a retrofit plug and play upgrade for your older truck or SUV. And it is a wireless charging pad. Now this is a feature a lot of new cars have today. Um, it's not too big of a deal, you know, if I was buying a car today, if it didn't have a wireless charging pad, it's not something that I would, you know, immediately look for. But in these trucks slash SUVs in particular, it is a pretty cool little upgrade um, because the center console in these things is the absolute perfect spot for a wireless charging pad. So right here in the center console of my 04 Tahoe, you can see, uh, first of all, the console is quite large and right in the middle of it, it's just the absolute perfect spot for wireless charging pad. Um, ever since I got this thing last year, or technically the end of the year before that, I was thinking this will be the absolute perfect spot for wireless charging pad. It's just the perfect size. Plus this is the spot I always put my phone when I'm in this thing. I get in the car, if I don't have it actually plugged into the radio, I just drop it in here and it's there pretty much always. It's the perfect spot where it's not gonna bounce out. You're not gonna lose it. And I think a lot of you guys can relate. This is probably the go-to place uh, you put your phone if you have one of these things. The other place I used to put it would be kind of right here because that's like another just perfect little spot. So when one of you guys told me that Boost Auto Parts offered this charging pad, I looked into it, but they were sold out and they've actually been sold out for a while. It is a very uh, popular product that they sell. This along with the key fob that I did in one of my other videos, link to that right at the top of the screen if you wanna check it out. But before we get into the install, let's at least open up the bag. I'll show you what it comes with. And this is completely plug and play. You don't need a fuse tap. You don't need uh, wire strippers, nothing. I actually have all the tools laid out right here. We're gonna be using a Phillips screwdriver, a flathead, and a 3 8 drill bit. I have a light, um, I have my little screw gun. Probably the most exotic tool here that you're gonna need is gonna be a drill and a 3 8 bit. I think everybody pretty much has like a flathead or a Phillips head screwdriver lying around their house somewhere. But here's everything that comes in the bag. So we have this wiring harness here. This is actually gonna tap into the cigarette lighter inside the console. That's how we're gonna get our power. And it is an inline harness. So you can see one end is gonna plug into the charging pad. The other end actually goes into the cigarette lighter itself. So it's just kind of going in line to it. We're not actually deleting a cigarette lighter and we're not splicing any wires. This thing is totally uh, plug and play. This bag here, we have the actual pad and this is like a two piece uh, kind of thing. We have little self-tapping screws there. And then the pad itself, this uh, bottom part actually screws into the console and then we have the top uh, rubber piece. As you can see, it fits in there and looks totally OEM. Anybody who's gonna get into this thing probably wouldn't think twice that either this was a wireless charging pad or this didn't actually come in the thing. Um, this is just the absolute perfect spot for one of these. And the good thing is, if you have a Silverado, I know the newer ones, they have um, the console with the narrow strip. It's not as big as this. And they make them for those too. So I'm gonna put a link to their website directly to this pad, along with a link to their YouTube page below the video. Um, they actually have a full detailed installation, including everything I'm about to do on their YouTube page. And you can also take a look at the installation instructions for the Silverado and the newer models that actually have a narrower opening in the center console. But first thing we wanna do here is just pop the rubber out. This is just held in here with absolutely nothing. Then all we're gonna do is pop this open, see all the junk I have in here. And uh, we're just gonna remove all these Phillips screws here. And this is gonna actually separate the top of the lid from the uh, bottom section here. All right, so with that separated, next thing we're gonna wanna do is actually position the pad in here and we're gonna drill a hole. So on the bottom of this, you actually see it has these legs that lets it stick up. So uh, you actually have room to fish the wire down there. And obviously you have room for the 
um, electronics for the charging pad itself. But we're just gonna position this in here and you wanna center the hole right in between these two points and just back a little from the front. So you can see we're gonna kinda have it curved down like that and just go underneath the cover. And then we're gonna run that wire back this way because it's actually gonna pass through out of the back here come out through here and then we're going to run it down into here where we're going to actually tap into the electronics with a cigarette lighter that looks pretty good i not to drill through my leg here So I'm just going to fish this down through the hole we made. Beautiful. Let's see how that comes through. Next thing I'm going to do, just so this isn't bouncing around, um, I'm going to put the four self-tapping screws through this, and that's going to actually anchor the base here to the console itself. Got a wire coming out. So now we have to drill a hole through the underside. To do this, we're gonna actually put one straight through the side of this and then through here. That's gonna allow the wire to come out, come through here, kind of not get in the way when this hinges because when this is closed, uh, the way this curves, there's a bit of a space here being there's an opening for the screw. So that's where we're gonna actually pass that wire down through. All right, so that's it for the drilling. Next step is to come in the back and we actually have to pop out um, the rear controls here. So I'm just gonna take a screwdriver, pop it out easy enough. So with that out of there, you can see the power port we're gonna be tapping into. So I'm just gonna reach in here, press that little black plastic tab on the back there and we can slide that connector right out. Easy enough. Then we're gonna take our fused Boost Auto Parts uh, plug and play harness here. And we're actually gonna plug the wire off the car into this part here. And then the gray one is gonna go back into the power port. That's one. Just like so. We have our fuse right there. And now we need to actually fish the wire up through the hole that we made right in the top of the console. Now, if you have big hands and you can't actually get in here to fish this through, I definitely recommend removing um, this center section. Boost has this included in their video. There's just these perimeter bolts here. These you don't touch, this is just for the hinge. And then the four down here, and you can actually lift this out, fish the wire right through extremely easily. But I think I can actually get in there. I don't mind scratching my hands up a bit if it means I could skip a step but the way it's kind of back there you have to curve it around and we want to make sure we pull enough through Just remember we have to come up through here we have to reach the end and then we want to have some slack in here and now we could just take whatever excess we have stick it in there remember we have our power port reconnected Flip that back into place. Connect it through there. You want to make sure you leave enough slack for this. That closes beautifully. So I'm going to leave it right there. And now this is going to come over this way. We can actually plug it into the uh, pad itself. All right, we got illumination. Now what we're gonna do is reinstall all the screws for the bottom of the lid. Look at that. I'm sure we have enough slack here. But the last uh, touch here. This just has these uh, little rubber legs that actually wedge into the screw holes. 
so you can easily pull this out to clean it just like the factory thing oh man look at that huh looks totally OEM but does it work all right first of all I know there are different modes um, that this pad actually works on you can have it so the lights constantly on kind of like it is now let me put the ignition on because I think that back outlet or all the outlets on these they're on all the time so that's the door open key out and we're still lit up so this is mode one if we go to mode two I think it'll just light up when the phone is actually on there so let's press this button right here that should be mode two so now when we actually put the phone on here it should only light up when it's charging look at that instantly light take it off light goes away that's awesome you can see the outline this is where the actual charging element is so you want your phone to be right in the middle um, where they left the kind of ridges out of there. So now for any of you guys who saw my install on the head unit um, with the Apple CarPlay, a lot of new radios, they have it so you have wireless CarPlay. You don't have to constantly plug it in. The other thing is with this head unit in particular, when you are plugged in with the um, charger cable here to use CarPlay, it just trickle charges. So if your phone is like super low and you want to charge it up and you're only like going on a short trip, um, essentially you're not gonna be able to charge your phone quickly while it's plugged into CarPlay. And if you have an iPhone, um, or I guess any phone for that matter, you can only use one port. So you can't have a separate charger charging the phone while you're plugged into CarPlay, unless you have a head unit that supports the wireless CarPlay. Now, if that's the case, that's even better for you because having this charging pad, you don't have to have your phone plugged in. You could just come in the truck, Drop your phone down, you're charging on your way, wireless connect to CarPlay, you're good to go. In my case, I find myself mostly using the Bluetooth audio, so I don't have to always be plugged into CarPlay. Um, the only time I actually use it is if I'm going someplace far or on a trip or something, and I want to have the Google Maps or the Apple Maps on the screen itself. That's when I'll actually plug it in. But most of the time driving around town going to work, um, especially when I'm shooting these videos, I use my phone most of the time, and the battery gets relatively low by the time it's time to go to work. Um... I just always throw my phone in here or I got to remember to plug it into there and it doesn't charge quickly. I got to use a regular charger. So just having the wireless pad in here, it's going to be just so much easier because, you know, most of the time my phone is in this little spot here. So, you know, without thinking, I'm just going to come in here, throw it down and we're going to be charging. So I love this upgrade. Thanks to Boost Auto Parts for sending me this to try out. I'm gonna put a link below the video directly to this product on their site. If you wanna pick one up, you better act quick because these sell out um, pretty fast on their site. We actually kind of set this up so they kind of fill their uh, warehouse up a little bit before I made this video, just so they have enough stock to hopefully um, meet all you guys who want to grab one because these are a very popular item and you can see why they just fit so seamless It looks completely OEM. You wouldn't even know that this was like an aftermarket product um, That you know you put in your center console. It looks almost the same as just the factory rubber that was in there And as you can see once you actually pull your phone off with mode 2 the light goes away so you don't have to worry about it staying on and killing your battery so once again guys check out boost auto parts i'm going to put a link directly to this product right below the video as well as a link to their youtube page but i hope you guys enjoyed this little install once again thanks to boost auto parts for sending me the mat definitely go check them out below the video grab your wireless charging mat believe me you're not going to regret it it is a freaking awesome upgrade uh, for these trucks and you really should pick one up especially if you use your phone a lot you use this kind of cubby hole to store it why not just have it charging while it's sitting there makes sense don't have to deal with wires plugging in deal with trickle chargers aftermarket chargers it looks stock it works great um super awesome upgrade but for now once again that's gonna do it for this one guys i'll see you in a few days